What it do, Two Time Family? It's your boy Two Time Moto TV, and we back with another epic video, guys. Before I even get started on talking about this Audi, shout out to Peter's Auto Mall in High Point, North Carolina, guys. Come check them out. They have crazy deals, a boatload of vehicles out here, new, used, you name it. They got it, or they can get it. They have multiple locations all around North Carolina. Make sure y'all come check them out, man. Very, very, very nice people. Uh, today, they was able to allow me to do a review on their 2016 Audi A8 4 liter, eight speed twin turbo. Guys, this is a beauty of a vehicle. I'm almost tempted to trade in my Mercedes AMG for it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. All right, gang, so today we're doing a review on the 2016 Audi A8 4 liter V8 twin turbo sport. This is a all wheel drive vehicle, eight speed automatic, 450 horsepower, 444 pound feet of torque. Well enough to get you to zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. That is super fast if you ask me faster than my amg brand new this vehicle was was ninety six thousand dollars, gang so y'all got to take that in perspective when y'all are buying vehicles as much as this vehicle depreciated over time you know that it has a lot of goodies to offer for ninety six thousand dollars for what it was brand new this thing gets 22 combined fuel economy 18 in the city 29 on the highway she got 20 by nine inch aluminum wheels. She weigh about 4,600 pounds. And I do wanna talk about something that's very important that I know a lot of car people wanna know about is the safety rating on this vehicle. This thing has a five star safety rating. Now, the only thing that I was kinda of discouraged on about this vehicle is the reliability of it. It only has a three star reliability but that's all dependent on if you keep the maintenance up on the vehicle i looked at a lot of things on reddit as well a lot of great comments from people that actually own this vehicle and that uh, had it for a very long time says that as long as you keep the maintenance up on it this vehicle will last for a long time so you guys peep the exterior this is a black this is a four-door sedan panoramic sunroof very stylish in the front, loving the headlights, LED strips. They almost look like crystals. Front grille is menacing. Got the wide grille on it with the Quattro badge. Once again, shout out to the guys out here at Peter's Auto Mall in High Point, North Carolina for allowing me to do a review on this Audi. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the interior, see what it got to offer. First thing I want to state is that I am 6'2", and I do have my seat set to where if I was driving the vehicle, this is where I would be seated at. Uh, you can also preset uh, your seat settings wherever that you want to have it. So if you want to have it all the way back, then you can uh, set it for one, or if you want it all the way forward and up, then you can set it for number two. Also, I do want to talk about how comfortable these seats are. These seats are super comfortable. It's almost like sitting on the best couch watching the best movie that you ever seen in your life. And it is just that comfortable of a feel. Um, I love everything about the space and how these seats feel and just, and just how the leather feels as well. Like it doesn't feel cheaply made. It feels like that it's made of great material and it also smells wonderful for it to have 120,000 miles on it. So let's go ahead and get started. I know you guys are asking the question of where's the infotainment system? So what you got to do is just press the start stop button with the key in the car and voila, screen pops up, shows the infotainment system. We do have it set on the uh, FM radio. This thing does have navigation. I'm not going to go through all those options, guys. Just take my word for it. Um, it has navigation, uh, a 360 view camera now i will get into that setting a little bit later after we get done with majority of the uh, interior now the 360 camera setting is crazy i've never seen that in a vehicle especially one of this year for it to be a 2016 this thing has a lot of modern features on it uh you do have your little analog clock here 
has 180 on the dash everything just feels intact nothing cheap everything feels well made uh this is your climate control settings here this is how you operate the infotainment system this audi offers a bose surround sound system also with the quattro badge on the dash with the wood grain i'm feeling that also guys, the panoramic roof is what we talked about earlier. We'll go ahead and show you how that functions. So you wanna press on this, that tilts it up. You can also slide it all the way back. Let's stop it there, bring it all the way back forward. Also, you have a sunshade that pulls all the way forward just in case you don't want any sunlight emitting inside the vehicle. Now that one only went for the front. The back one is something totally different and I'll show you guys that in a second just as soon as we uh, hop back there in the back seat. Sting offers two cup holders, cigarette lighter. Also, guys, I love the way that they have this armrest here that I do wanna show you guys how this functions. So yes, you can open it up all the way like this. There is a little tab here that you wanna press. So I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand. I doubt if I can, so I'm gonna have to kinda maneuver the camera, but. <clears throat> Hang in there with me for a second. All right. Now, this is what the armrest look like in the full upright position. So you have two individual armrests here. That I love about this vehicle is that it's not only driver focused, it is passenger and rear passenger focused, and you guys will see what I mean in a minute. So there is a button under here that if you press, you can have your armrest all the way down. Your passenger can still have theirs in a position wherever that they want it. You can also bring both of them all the way down or have them both plush. So let's go ahead and hop up in the back seat. Let's turn this off infotainment system has a way in the dash away from theft so once again i am 6'2 and look how much room i have in the back this thing seats like it is a suv i've never seen a sedan that seats this capacity i mean i'm I have my legs stretched all the way out. Now I can bring my seat back a lot further, but for me being 6'2", I mean, I'm gonna be a lot further away from the pedal, so I'm not trying to do that. Now, let's go ahead and hit the start stop button again so I can show you guys something else. So, once again, this is not just driver's focus. You also have your mirror on both sides here. Also, let's hit the start stop button. And you have four individual controls over here and each one of them controls something different. So you can control the panoramic roof in the back here to vent it. Also, you can close it. Also, you have your sunshade control in the back. Let's bring that back forward. And you also have your side sunshade control as well. Tucks away quite nice on the side panel there. Bring it all the way back up. Now you have extra tinted windows. You have your own individual climate control section here. Also with 212 volt and a cigarette lighter. And this here is where the magic happens for the rear passengers. Cause you have your own climate control dials that you can mess around with on both sides that control both of these outlets here. That is amazing. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below, man. I think this is freaking amazing. You have a little storage compartment here. You have access to the back part of the back portion of the trunk. Also, you have your rear sunshade here in the back. You have three speakers back here for your surround sound Bose infotainment system. Let's close this back up. 
and you have LED light strips that are not currently on because I do not have the vehicle on, but as you guys can see, this right here will light up LED. You have your side LED lights as well. Looks very presidential at nighttime. You also have a little ashtray compartment here. Unlock and lock button in the back seat. Where you guys find that at? You also have another vent here on the side that you can probably use for defrost or if you want it blowing directly on you, you can do so. And a rear pocket in the back of each seat to put paper or notes or anything small that can fit in those pockets. So we are back on the outside of the vehicle. This is your seat settings also for the driver's seat. Let's pop the trunk, see how much space that thing has to offer. Trunk pops all the way up automatically with the press of a button. Ample amount of storage space in the back. That's that little rear compartment along with vents back here that'll keep anything cool or hot necessary up to you depending on what you want to do press of a button trunk closes locks tight automatically stain do take 93 octane so we'll go ahead and check the engine bay out got the big boy louver on the side pop the hood up Whew. super clean twin turbo v8 audi engine So clean you can just about eat off this thing so we'll go ahead and start up to see what she's sounding like just put your foot on the brake press start stop engine button one time infotainment once again pops out i do want to show you guys something about that 360 uh, view camera that i was talking about earlier so if you do put the vehicle in reverse You have a 360 view above the vehicle as you guys can see to the right here that's where this wall is it shows black also everything is clear to the left side and a very clean and crisp camera sounded like a weld oil sewing machine very quiet Very quiet on the rear as well with the exhaust note. <laughs> For around the price range of 30 to $32,000 guys, this is a vehicle that you can actually purchase. Has a ton of bells and whistles. To come from $96,000 all the way down to thirty dollars to $32,000, I feel like is a steal. And you can't beat that whatsoever. So it don't have to be brand new. It don't have to be a 2023 model for you guys to check out nice deals and vehicles like this that has a bunch of options that these modern day cars have or may not have. But these cars right here are like diamonds in the rough that people look over because they don't know about it. But as you guys see all these options and there are a ton more that I didn't even get to for this vehicle. As you guys can see there, you still got the 360 view popped up up on the infotainment system until I do put the vehicle in drive. I mean, what more can you ask for in a car? This is a nice vehicle to take your family out on road trips. Or even just to cruise downtown, man. I mean, just to, just to ride. 450 horsepower will get you there with an all-wheel drive system that can run in all seasons. So drop them comments below, man. Let me know what y'all think. Would y'all buy this vehicle or not? And let me know the reason why you would buy the vehicle. Or let me know the reason why you wouldn't buy the vehicle. I would give this car a four-star out of five-star rating. The only thing that got to me from doing my research is the reliability on the vehicle like i said is a three star 
but as long as you maintain it and take care of it that's neither here nor there and if i was to own it i would definitely take care of it but just because of that i cannot give it a five star no matter how bad i want to i want to so bad but i just can't do it because of i guess issues that customers had with this vehicle in the past and not this particular vehicle but just with the eight eights and its reliability but other than that if you take care of it this thing will last you forever so it's just like anything else hopefully you guys enjoyed the video man once again shout out to my guys out here at peter's auto mall in high point north carolina make sure y'all come check them out and if y'all do tell them two-time moto sent you mike can cut you a better deal on something like this or anything else out there in the lot more to come i'm about to be doing reviews on cars like this all the time drop y'all comments below on what y'all would like to see next two-time moto tv out and until next time peace